Hi, it's Pavel with the final um, modification of our order class. Uh, this is a part D, so if you missed the part A, B, or C, then uh, you know you should probably check it out. Uh, we started here, created order class uh, with some method in it. Then we modified it to create an array of orders. Then we created another class that uh, was derived from the uh, order class. In other words, we used some uh, inheritance and we added a shipping fee to the uh, to the total cost and now we are going to do another modification to the shipped order class which is the derived class and um, we will display the uh, orders sorted by order number so we will not create any uh, you know any other classes or anything like that we will simply uh, sort them out so I already imported everything here uh, into my project. This is the original shipped order right here. This is the original order class. And this is my last main method that we use uh, to display the shipped orders. Now to sort them out, there's various ways. You know, you could uh, again do some array manipulation and you know, check each other, uh, each object with each, uh, with any other object. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a list because list can be sorted or ordered by uh, directly. That it makes it very, very simple to uh, sort a list. So after we uh, create all the objects here and we make sure there's no duplicates, we calculate the total cost. Now we're going to display them which we used to do with the for each loop. Except this time, before the for each loop, I'm going to, well, over here, I'm going to create a list uh, of uh, sorted, sorted orders equals new list of uh, shipped orders. All right, so we, this our list sorted orders will hold objects of shipped orders of our class shipped order. All right, so before we uh, display the orders, we will sort them out, and well, before we do that, actually, we have to add all the objects to our list, which we can do right here, and. Uh, so it's going to be before you know after after the uh, information is entered by the user and the object is created and the duplication is uh, avoided or you know checked and uh, taken care of. We will uh, create the orders. In fact, not here. I'm sorry, but after after the whole loop, we will do another. We will do it for each, for each, and we'll do simply element in our orders array, and we will add uh, each element from the array into our list. So our sorted order list dot add the element. So after this loop is done, our sorted list is populated with the all the values from the array. Now we can manipulate the, the list, which is very simple. Uh, sorted, sorted list, sorted orders uh, equals our sorted orders dot order by, and we'll order them by the uh, order number. That's what the exercise calls for. And uh, that should be all, actually. And uh, oh, let me see, there's some kind of an error. An explicit conversion exists. Are you missing a cast? Yes, I am missing a cast. To, to list, because we, we need this is a list. 
So after this, uh, this line of code, our list will be ordered by order number. Now x is just a placeholder. This is a little like a little lambda expression. It could be anything. I could just call it element, just like I do, you know, in for each. Uh, it's uh, quite arbitrary, you know, what you call it. But you assign the order number to the element, sort it out, and place uh, all the objects sorted by uh, the, uh, what is it, order number. So it's a part of uh, link query and lambda expression. So now how do we output them? And out of for each loop, uh, we can reuse this one instead of, instead of orders, which is the array, the original array, we will do the sorted orders list. And that's all. That that should uh, that should do it. So let's do uh, a quick test. So let's do the order number. I'm not going to be checking the duplicates anymore because we already checked it several times. We already know it's working. So this order number 123A, let's say. My, my name will be customer name, quantity, order number will be 001A, for example. So this one should be before this one uh, at the end. Let's see if that's going to work. Uh, customer name, Peter, quantity 100. This one could be, uh, I don't know, 1, 2, 3, G, for example. Uh, Penny. And quantity will be thousand. Order number will be one, two, three. Uh, let's say B. So, and customer name will be John. And quantity will be five. And this is the last order. Uh, let's make it uh, just one, two, three. So this one should be actually first uh, when when it outputs. And customer name will be Joe. And 100. So, what do we get? Uh, here should be they should be sorted. So, 001A is the first order number. 123 is the second. 123A, 123B, 123G. So it did sort them out. If you if you remember how we entered them, the first one we entered was 123A, then 001A, then 123G, 123B. So clearly. They're not in order, we enter them, they are sorted by the order number, and they are. You can tell 001A is before 123, uh, 123A is before 123B, and that's before 123G. So, like I said, this, uh, I think this is way more elegant. I mean, we could, like I said, we could use arrays again, you know, uh, and compare to arrays and uh, shift the data somehow, you know, it, it's, it's just a pain and pointless because you can really do much more with the list. Now, originally, uh, I would do the list right here. I wouldn't even bother with arrays because, you know, list can be, you can have added items to it, delete items for it uh, without worrying about the size of it. But the original exercise called for an array of objects. That's why I have an array here. But if this was a, like a, some kind of little more real world, I would use the list right from the start. Uh, and then while I loop in here, I wouldn't loop through five, but I would loop through the, uh, the length of the count of the, on the list elements. It would be much easier, but like I said, we follow the instructions uh, and created the array first from the original exercise. In this exercise, however, there were no instructions that we need to do array or anything. I simply wanted to sort it out. And so I chose to do the list. So I hope uh, that it helps you, that maybe you even learned something, that would be great. <laughs> if you already knew this, sorry I wasted your time, but I hope that all these uh, A, B, C, and D exercises were helpful you know, in object creation, uh, uh, how to do the arrays of objects, now even how to do the list of objects, You know, how to manipulate or check the objects uh, uh, individual elements, or in this case, order number, and so forth. So, uh, hope it helped you, and I will see you next time.